all right guys what is up here we are today with the poorest challenge uh, we've done this before um people are saying i didn't upload to youtube which is my bad because i'm pretty sure i meant to so the challenge is it's completely insane what you do is you take the deck of your previous opponent like volkos challenge but then you play the reverse unit from the other faction so my previous opponent was playing Oxana Fnatic, Mutant Wheel, Bike, Inferno, Phantom. So now we swap to GDI, and we're now playing Jackson, MG, Gren, Dog, Pitbull, Hammerhead, Borka. Now, most of the time this works out okay, but occasionally, occasionally you just, uh, occasionally you, it, it messes up horribly and the deck doesn't work. Purge Trooper says MG is not mirror to Fnatic. Okay, interesting. If it's not Mirror to Fnatic, then what is the Mirror to Fnatic purge? Because the only other thing MG can be the Mirror to is Scarabs. MSV? What? Dude, that's not... No. Strong disagree. Fnatics are an infantry unit. MSV is a vehicle. Like, they're both they're both anti-infantry infantry. MSV is a vehicle. Alright, anyway, no problem. Any, no problem. We're gonna start... Don't agree with I don't agree that Fnatic is equal to MSV. I can see where you're coming from, Purge Trooper. They're both like the boost unit. I can definitely understand what you're saying. But the way they function is so different that I don't think it works. So we're just gonna do MGs instead, just because otherwise the deck is like the deck like putting M MSV in every deck that is replacing a Fnatic is just gonna be a nightmare. So I'm just gonna do I'm just gonna do MGs. But I can understand where you're coming from. Three. M no, no, dude, Tick Tank is APC. Tick Tank is APC for sure. Although I can understand again where you're coming from. Okay, so we're gonna go dogs and then half. I probably shouldn't have gone half here. Because he's got lasers first, and I don't actually have an anti infantry infantry. I only have MGs. Alright, so we're gonna do this. Uh, yeah, Bike Rush. Just so you know, I'm doing another crate challenge immediately after this one. Just FYI. Oh, Scarabs? Speaking of Scarabs, boys. Alright, this one-man dog is going to be the hero we deserve. He's going to go and sue us. He's going to sacrifice his life to kill this Scarab for me. Go, 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 go. One of them has... I'm going to try and get the kill at the same time with the other dogs. Ah, no, we had to trade off the other one. That's a shame. Alright, so we need to get the MG set up to kill this, uh, to kill this mutant. We're going to use the dogs to try and block until the MG sets up. Alright, let's get another MG, I guess. If this guy doesn't show me air, we're gonna move the halves so that he can't get uh, the mutants to attack it without going inside MG range. And then we'll go a pit bull because I'm scared of air. Is he gonna go for my base? That would be amazing. Oh my god, I think he might. <laughs> What's he doing with this mutant? Okay, I don't understand that play very much. I'm gonna boost this MG because I need to kill this mutant over here pretty quickly as well. Okay, so MG looks absolutely insane against this dude. So I might just go third MG. I'm gonna wait and see what he does, but I'm gonna go if he doesn't do something soon that is isn't infantry, I'm gonna go third MG. Wow, MG's just at, okay, double half. Yeah, MG's just totally wrecking this dude. I think we'll go third MG. Although if we go third MG, he's gonna go um flame tank, right? And then we're gonna get wrecked. But maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should save and wait to be able to go Borker in response to the tech unit. Yeah, I think I'm happy enough with this com com composition here. I can pro- oh wow, Obelisk? Okay, let's get another MG because he's obviously going to kill my MG with the Obelisk. And we'll also get Hammerhead to take out the Obelisk. The fact he went Obelisk to counter MG makes me think he just doesn't have an answer, so I'm going to make another MG. Alright, let's put the Hammerhead here to block. Okay, I mean, it looks like MG was just the nut high against this dude. He just, he just can't beat it at all. Alright, cool game, I guess. Good job, team. I'm super worried about what my next deck is going to look like, because I have to reverse his deck. So it's going to be probably horrendous. Enemy base destroyed. 
Okay, so our deck ended up being a little weird. Um, the opponent had Scarabs last round. I've just gone with MG again because there's there's too many Nod uh, infantry units. Like, there's one extra Nod infantry unit than GDI. So, we've kind of got MG being Scarab and Fnatic, which doesn't really make sense, but whatever. And then we've got Hammerhead and Mammoth. Now, our previous opponent was playing Sol was playing Kane, which is obviously the building creating commander. So we've gone with uh, we've gone with Sol with a strong arm, but obviously Kane made sense to kill Tech, and strong arm is terrible in a Mammoth deck. So our deck is super sketchy because of that. But you know we've got Mammoth, we have got Hammerhead. That's a combination that can beat most things. Uh, we don't really have an answer to Talon, which is a little awkward, but you know whatever, no problem, no problem. I'm sure we'll figure it out. We're gonna have to go Hammerhead to fight a to fight Talons. It's okay, we can live with that. The missile is getting very stalled, which is great for us. Because obviously we want to get to Mammoth Tank. Alright, there we go. We'll take out these Talons. No big deal. And we'll start charging the missile now, because I'm feeling like I'm in pretty good shape. I feel like I'm pretty far ahead right now. So we'll start charging up the missile. Normally I'd look to stall, but we've had this second half of ages. We've killed a bunch of his units without losing any of ours. I was reasonably confident we could just take the missile, which we did. And now we're just going to try and save up for a Mammoth Tank ASAP. And then we'll go for his Harvesters with it. He's just spamming Talons. So we'll just keep using the Hammerhead to clean them up. Pretty close to that Mammoth now. We don't have Jackson to boost it though, which is a shame. Ugh, going to have to get ourselves another Hammerhead as well. I'm going to go Mammoth first. Start it moving because it's so slow. And then we'll follow up with a Hammerhead afterwards once we get 90 tips. I'm guessing he'll have Walker. Most players who play GDI seem to have Walker. Nope, just Talons, okay. I guess we'll get some missiles to support the Hammerhead, I don't know man, this is pretty weird. There's the Orca, as expected. Okay, cool. Good to see I'm not losing my mind and the uh, GDI players are still doing exactly the same thing all over the game. There goes a Harv, crush the missiles. Get another Mammoth. There's no way he kills two Mammoths, right? I mean, that would be insane. Alright, yeah, this is over. Wolverine! <laughs> Right on time to fight my mammoth tank. Alright, GG my dude, GG. You are victorious. Okay, so our previous opponent's deck was a Wolverine Mammoth deck with Talons and Orca. So we've got Banshee and Shade. It's not really a direct mirror. Uh, Banshee is obviously the dual role air unit, so it's kind of like Talon. But it doesn't kill infantry, it kills vehicles instead. Alright, so we want to stall the missile because we're playing Avatar. And first buggy, we're going to make this to fight. Now, we're actually pretty terrible against buggy because the only thing we have is... Well, you know, we have Shade, never mind. I'm going to say all we have is Banshee, but we actually have the Shade, so this should be fine. Okay, so we want to kill this first buggy off and go second half. Come on, rifles, you can do it. Yeah, good job, guys. Okay, so he's just spamming buggies. I want to stall the missile, so I'm going to make another rifleman. And then I want to go Shades because they'll one-shot the buggies for me. Wow, that's so many buggies. Oh my god. Alright, I need a shade ASAP. There we go. Take out a bant. Take out a buggy. I don't think we can get back on the pad in time, though. Come on, shade. You can do it. Reload. 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 No, it's only in time. Alright, so we do lose the missile. Not to be... Not, not that surprising. I mean, the deck is horrible. And uh, we went double harvester. So, you know. <laughs> that's normally going to cause you to lose the first missile. Alright, so we're going to keep the shade alive. We want to keep stalling, get some lasers to fight the bites, use the shade to counter the buggies. Then we really want to get our tech out ASAP. It's going to be really difficult. Like, Widowmaker's just not going to be that relevant a tech unit is the problem. But I think we might, we might have to make it just because it's something that tanks the pads for a little while. Some bikes. Let's go kill them. Yeah, let's get the Widowmaker here. It's probably fine. I just want something that's a little bit beefy to hold pads for a little while whilst I wait for the Avatar. Banshee, we'll get that on that. Let's get the Widowmaker on it, even though Widowmaker doesn't really beat Banshee that well. I really want this Avatar, but I'm pop capped. I'm gonna try and move a Harvester to a pad. Right, there's the Avatar. Let's boost it. Go Avatar, go. Should be able to kill these bikes in time. Yeah, nice. Alright, cool. So now we're in really good shape. We've got an Avatar. And obviously he has to try and kill an Avatar. Gonna follow up with Banshee because we haven't got a proper anti-air unit. 
So I'm just going to try Banshee. But once I farm his Harvesters, yeah, okay, cool. Now we just go base. Yeah, there's his Banshee. We'll get Widowmaker and Banshee of our own on it. And we'll go for the base. Widowmaker actually has the same base damage as Flame Tank. So getting a Widowmaker to a base is pretty much GG as well. All right, cool. Got him. Just about. Objective complete. Okay, so our deck is pretty horrible. Uh, the swap around didn't really work very well. We've got Liang now. We've got Talons and Drone Swarm. Uh, we've got like this triple War Factory deck with MLRS and Pitbull. Our only anti air is Talon Pitbull, which is pretty horrible. Uh, uh, randomly got Shock Troopers, so we have like four anti infantry units in our deck. But yeah, the deck is pretty terrible. Um, but yeah, you know, we'll work with what we've got. We'll see what we can do. You Definitely going to be one harvesting this time. Can I have the Rhino help out against the bikes? All right, he retreats. Oh, coward. Absolute coward. So if he keeps making... Okay, so he made buggy for some reason, which I'm confused by. I'm actually going to retreat the Rhino here, and I'm going to Liang Zhou. Because the Rhino's so damaged, and it, it, I mean, it, it, the fact I'm healing the Pipple as well is why I'm Liang Groaning. I wouldn't do this if the Pipple wasn't damaged as well. And now he's coming in to do more damage, so we're going to get some more value out of the healing, hopefully. No, the Rhino died! This is the worst case scenario. I can't move the Liang Groaning. <laughs> ah, Liang is so terrible now. Alright, well, I guess we'll keep making Rhinos until we can afford a Shock Trooper. Rhinos do okay against bikes as well. They have pretty good damage. So, you know, just keep making rhinos. Oh my god, a stealth tank. That is horrendous for me. That is so bad for me. I don't have any infantry or aircraft that kills vehicles. I have to just kill this thing with pit bulls, and maybe I can use an MLRS at some point. But pretty much just have to kill it with pit bulls. Alright, I guess we're spamming pit bulls then. Get on this pad. Keep spamming pit bulls. All right, nice. We took out the uh, we took out the unit that was there. The bikes with the shots. Oh my god, my micro is so bad. My micro is so terrible. <laughs> my micro is so bad. This game, absolutely heinous. Okay, well that's the way that goes. I guess we're gonna make more shock troopers and rhinos. Let me just try and get an MLRS set up. That's like our best win condition. Although making an MLRS baits him into making air, which I really don't want. Because my deck is horrible against air. Yeah, there we go. There's the Banshee. My deck actually terrible against Banshees. If I can kill this thing and keep my pit alive, I'll Liang. No, I didn't. Rip. My one-man shock should hopefully take down this guy. Oh, it's close. It's not looking great. Sort of. Not ideal. Alright, let's Liang run now. Come on, you can live, MLRS, you can live! No, you can't. Alright, so we need to stack pit bulls against the Banshee. Oh, this deck is really bad. He's gonna drill pod soon. Alright, we got the block here. Nice. Okay, so we win the missile. Good stuff. Banshee, we actually have nothing that 1v1s a Banshee. Like, we have to use, we have to use pit bulls 2v1ing to fight Banshee. I have a lot of money though. I could probably be a little bit more aggressive with uh, making expensive units like MLRS. That's really the only expensive unit in my deck though, so. Oof, duh. Not liking this deck very much, I have to say. Gonna Liang on these guys because there's quite a lot, quite a big squadron of damage units here. Uh, let's move this up. We know there's likely to be more Banshees coming in soon. Yeah, there they are. The Rhino can shoot Banshee as well, so... I guess? I guess that's our, like, our game plan. Gonna try and get this stank. I need to move the Harve, I think. This is my best chance to get in there. Come on, MLRS. Kill the Stealth Tank. Kill the Stealth Tank. Yes, very nice. Okay, we have a chance now. Hark trying to sneak onto the pad, doesn't get there. A big deal, I think we win. Yes, feels amazing. That one was a real trial. That one was a real trial. Oh. Mission accomplished. Three, two, 
Okay, so our deck again is kind of a nightmare. We've got like a Rhino Pitbull Sling deck now. Our deck is really cheap. Uh, our most expensive unit is, Pit is, is Slingshot at 60. So we need to be really aggressive. I should have gone Rifles first because this game... We need to finish this game very quickly. I'm definitely blocking this if I can get it. Nice. Definitely blocking this for as long as I can. But we need this game to be over ASAP. If this guy gets to tech, we have nothing that kills tech. Like, all of our units are super cheap. This is probably going to be Flamers. We're actually going to make a Rhino. Wow, he's just done nothing for first missile. Like, absolutely nothing. We might get away with a freebie here, boys. Get the Rhino on the half because it actually does better half damage. Shade! Okie dokie. Fair enough. Well, we have talent. Oh my god, the Shade doesn't kill Rhino in one shot. Rhino new meta, boys. Rhino new meta confirmed. Def it's definitely not going to kill my Pitbull either, mate. <laughs> Unlucky. <laughs> oh, dude, why didn't you shoot the Shade? Alright, so we're going to spam some Talons for a bit because Talon looks very good against him. Phantom? Yeah, okay. The Talon is definitely good against him. And we'll get a Slingshot as well, I think. Hide behind the Slingshot. We definitely don't want to lose this Talon if we can get away with it. Oh, run away Slingshot, run away! No, Slingshot died, rip! Alright, we're bringing these Pitbulls and we should just win the game. Yeah, blocking that Harvester was pretty great. Slowed him down so much. Alright, nice. Got away with a freebie there. Objective complete. See you later, tank. Thanks for the gift subs, my dude. Okay. So our deck this time is a pretty massive nightmare. I think we're going to go Blind Double Harvester because our deck just does nothing. Um... We probably have to go like blind double harvester and then make an MG to defend them because our deck just actually does nothing. We need to really hope our opponent is also going tech because we have no chance at beating a, a fast deck here. If this is a militant as well, it's just oh my, it's laser drones. Oh, it's amazing. That's so lucky. Laser drone is such a buy. Oh my god, if that had been militants, we'd have been in so much trouble. But laser drones are just absolutely horrendous. Like these units are just unplayable now. Alright, so we're in really good shape now that he's just gone laser drones. They just do nothing to the Harvester anymore. Like, I don't understand why anyone is still playing these things, because they're so bad. Alright, so we're going to 2v1 the Venom. We're almost at our Hammerhead now as well, so, you know, the Venom shouldn't be a problem anymore. Yup, GG, thanks for playing. Why would anyone still play, uh... Why would anyone still play a uh, laser drone? So bad. Let's get this MG positioned. So we probably lose this missile still. Maybe not. Go MG, go. Can I kill these laser drones in time? I don't think I can. No, we still lose the missile. We just don't have enough units on the field because we're double half. But we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna go tech pretty quickly. I don't really want to make the sandstorm. I want to just make a mammoth. And run over these missile troopers. I also really don't want to lose this half, so I'm going to try and retreat it. I don't know if it's going to get away, though. Alright, there's the Mammoth. Let's save the half. Ooh, save the half. Good job, team. Now we're going to need another Hammerhead to protect our Mammoth and our Harvester. Go, Harvester, run! Save yourself, Harvester! Alright, cool. The Harvester's still alive. That's the important thing, right? I've played a lot of rivals. I'm pretty sure the Harvester is all that matters. Alright, so we should win this second missile pretty easily, and then we'll just go for his base. Yup. There's the half. Get another hammerhead. Now we go for the Harvesters. Or just Harvester, I should say. Get a Sandstorm and sneak it around to his base as well. I'll just kill the base almost instantly. Yeah, this is super over. Alright, 
GG my dude, GG Tech on base, easy claps You are victorious Okay, so now we're playing a four air deck with Disruptor as the only tech unit. This deck is actually horrendous. Um, I guess we have to open Drone Swarm. Yeah, we just have to play like an air-based game. We're opening Drone Swarm, which is bad because he even wheels. So it sucks already. He's just going to make bikes now. Or I guess Cosmic Girl could be a she. So she's just going to make bikes here. So we're going to be spamming Mohawks a bunch, basically. That's our game plan. Unit ready. I'm gonna go and eat the first pike poly with my drone swarm. Yeah. Alright, need drone swarm to fight the lasers. I don't really have anything else to fight lasers, which sucks. Yeah, this this deck is this deck is horrible. Let's go Orca because we need something that kills a pike squadron quickly. And we'll drone swarm to the bottom, I guess, and hope that we get this missile. Can we block this guy out? Yes, we blocked him out. Very nice. That's exactly what I was hoping to do. Alright, more drone swarms. Oh, we have, we have only drone swarm and disruptor that has anti infantry, which is truly horrendous. But, you know, gotta make do with what we've got. Okay, let's take out this bike squadron with the orca. Leaving him with one bike, I think, is okay. It's kind of what I have. To... Whoops, 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 whoops. I didn't mean to take another shot on the orca. That sucked. Get the drone swarms on defense. It's actually going okay here. How close are we for a Raptor? Actually not that far off. Kind of crazy. A Disruptor would be big game here. Like really that would be, be, be a very big deal. Because we just, we just can't really kill lasers right now very easily. So if we could get ourselves a Disruptor that would be sick. It's not looking great though. We're still fairly far off of the Raptor. And we need to keep making Drone Swarm. This is why you have to play answers to lasers in your deck, by the way. Because otherwise, every laser squad that's made, you have to make like a 20 cost unit to fight it, which is horrendous. I don't even know why he's drill potting here. Let's get this mohawk down here. Get another drone swarm. We actually might just win the missile. That'd be crazy. We just, we just win the missile. <laughs> Alright, fair enough. GG. Oh god, air, air tower OP. Alright, so we're playing a Dog MG MLRS deck. I actually think the decks are not horrendous. I mean, we're also playing Liang, which is good with those things. Uh, the biggest issue is going to be fighting lasers in the early game. We're going to go Dogs, and then hopefully he makes a couple of lasers, and then we can go to MG. Yeah, this, M this, this, this laser is exactly what we want to see here. Hopefully he makes another one, and then we can just go MG. Actually, I want to kill off this, uh, yeah, there's, there's another one, that's what I wanted. I want to kill off the Militant, really, just so that we can prevent the, M uh, pr stop him from killing our MG as we're trying to set it up. Alright, let's move this dog to block. Oh no, oh no, not a, not a, not a buggy, not a buggy. Alright, GG, GG, GG MG. This is why I was trying to kill off the, uh, this is why I was saying I needed to kill off the Militant, because obviously they, they went up and attacked the MG. I mean, I just played that terribly, like, obviously. That was the problem there, was I just played real bad. Alright, so we're going to try and get the MG set up again. Not not as far forward as I'd like it this time, but... Oh my god. Why? Why do you have to drill pod now? Retarget? Nah, we're dead. We're super dead. Drill pod just annihilated the MG, and we just can't kill... We can't kill lasers with anything else. Like, our deck can, only has dogs and uh, MG for anti -imp. This is a really horrible deck. I mean, I, I I definitely have messed up. I should have uh, I should have been able to set up the MG earlier. I, I messed up to let it die, but we're gonna have to probably play like multiple MGs to have a chance here. Unless he shows he hasn't shown us a great anti MG unit yet, so we can potentially just spam MGs. Yeah, if he doesn't show me a really good way to kill MGs, like he has buggy, which is decent, but not like the absolute nuts. I'm just going to keep making MGs for now. Alright, here's time for the Liang. Alright, cool. So the MGs are set up. We obviously want to move one of them up a little bit. But uh, we are we are in position now. 
Let's try and get one moved up. Let's try and get an MLRS positioned as well. He hasn't shown us any anti... He hasn't shown us any air units yet, so... The MGs might just be insane. Alright, get both MGs on the Flamers. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, the MGs are well set up now. We might be, we might be okay. Alright, cool. He hasn't, still hasn't shown us an answer to MG, so I'm just gonna make another one. If your opponent doesn't show you an answer to something, like an M like MG is such a hard unit to deal with once it's set up. If your opponent doesn't show you a hard counter, it means they almost certainly don't have one. So you just keep making them. I'm really scared he's gonna just pop on Inferno now and I'm gonna be sitting on four MGs, but what are you gonna do? Oh, need to get this one out of the way. Just living the turret crawl life here. Alright, I think actually we want to block the pitbull. And I need to move this guy so I can Liang here. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this guy can beat MG. That's my read at the moment. Yeah, okay. It's looking like MG is pretty good against this dude. Alright, GG old school. I'm sorry your deck couldn't beat MG. Sometimes that the way it, that's the way it be though. All right, good job, MG Swarm. Unit lost. Objective complete. Three, two, okay, so our deck is again one of these super cheap decks. We've got the Slingshot Rhino, Pitbull, Talon. So yeah, our deck is super cheap. Uh, we need to win the game ASAP because we can never kill a tech unit really. Unit ready. So we want to be pretty aggressive. Oh, shock troopers. All right, so we're going to back up and go for a rhino. Get the get the concave. All right, if he's going to go this way, I'm just going to ignore it. I assume he's going for my harvester because, you know, he plays rivals. And that's what every single person who ever plays rivals does every single time they get the chance. Yep, obviously his missiles are going towards my harvester. So we get the rhino to take care of these shocks, and I'll just get, like, another rhino to go down here once I get pop cap. It's not sure what he thinks this shock trooper is going to do. Yep, second half. So copycat pointed out something to me earlier uh, the other day, which I hadn't hadn't hadn't, uh, hadn't thought about, which is that the reason so many players think that uh, I am gonna do what I do, and that's the way it is. <laughs> Thanks, Casaris. Yeah. So copycat pointed something out to me the other day, which I hadn't really considered, and the reason that everyone thinks going for the harvester wins the game is because a lot of the guy, most people just play tech mirrors all the time, and in a tech mirror, if you kill the harvester, you get your tech first, and you do win the game. So, killing harvesters kind of does win the game in like lower leagues because you, you get harvester kills and then you get tech and then you win. So I hadn't really considered that, but that's probably why people are so keen on harvester kills. Because in a tech mirror, it's actually just like, it's how you win the game. Anyway, um, I'm not playing tech, so it's not a tech mirror. So him killing my harvester did not win the game. He didn't even kill it and the game is now over. So yeah, slight difference there, slight difference. Okay, so our deck is now Laser Flame, Shade, Triple Tech, including Widowmaker. So our anti-air is Widowmaker Laser, which is pretty terrible. Um, we're going to Blind Double Harvester, I think, because our deck is, is so expensive. We've got Triple Tech. Hopefully, I was going to say hopefully he doesn't start charging the pad immediately, but he already has, so that sucks. And as the tech player, I don't know what his first unit is, so I don't know what to make. I'm going to wait and see if he shows me. Okay, he showed me laser. That's great. This is actually a mistake from my opponent because he showed off his first unit. So now I know to go flames. I would have gone laser first there. If he hadn't shown me a unit, I would have definitely just gone laser first. Which would have been the wrong unit. So thank you, opponent, for showing me your unit. All right, we'll wait and see what he does to counter my flames. Cat ship. Okay, well, my anti air is Widowmaker and laser. Obviously, laser does nothing here. So I just have to go straight into Widowmaker. So yeah, I can't, I can't even fight for the first missile at all because of cat ship. I'm going to try and get as much stall as I can, but it's going to be almost zero. And I just have to go Widowmaker. Yeah, I mean, this deck is actually horrendous. Alright, here goes the Widowmaker. Like, we're playing an artillery rockworm deck with no proper anti-air. So we've got two units that are amazing versus ground. All we need in this deck is a Phantom for the deck to be DC. But instead we have Widowmaker. Because whoever made this deck hates me and wanted me to lose. Alright, let's get an artillery out. 
Now I have to defend my artillery with lasers and Widowmakers, which is horrible. Yeah, I mean, look. <laughs> so bad. So bad. What a horrible deck. Alright, so we defended the artillery successfully once. Now we've got to defend it from another one. I mean, the artillery is going to do some work. Sure, buddy. Sure. Artillery down. Good job. I guess we rock worm now. Or oh, Widowmakers. Maybe we... Sp I don't even know. Like, he has a bunch of air, so I feel like we have to spam Widowmakers. The thing is, Widowmaker doesn't even beat uh, Shade, which is, like, the other air unit he's using right now. So that's super awkward. Get the Widowmaker on here. Get the laser on here. I mean, look. Watch this. Watch this Widowmaker versus Shade matchup. If he stands still, we win. But he gets to come in and EMP me. And then he can retreat. If you play... If you play Shade correctly, you shouldn't have any problem with Widowmakers. Alright, I guess we're just spamming Widowmaker for a bit. I might make a Rockworm. Well, I don't really feel like I need to. Like, this guy is really struggling with Widowmakers for some reason. Alright, guys, here it is. With Arctic, it's the Arctic Skin, I think. The Arctic Skin makes the Widowmaker twice as powerful. I think that's probably why we're winning. Gonna keep making widows. <laughs> I can't believe I'm winning with widow makers. This is so dumb. Yeah, how you like me now, incoming laser troop? <laughs> oh god, what a dumb game. Well, there you have it, guys. Arctic Widowmaker, too strong, can't be beaten. Arctic Widowmaker is the best Widowmaker in the game. 520 tib at the end of that game while spamming only Widowmakers, Artillery, and Rockworm. Seems like the economy makes sense. <laughs> Alright guys, there it is. Somehow managed to 10 0 with that ridiculous challenge. That was pretty fun. Um, I'm not super happy about Fnatic versus MG being the swap. Most of the other swaps I think make sense, but Fnatic MG didn't feel amazing. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time.